iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad. I'm here to show you how to install Windows Deployment Services on Server 2008 R2. We have a couple of prerequisites that we need before we start. We will need these uh, roles added to your server. We will need Active Directory. DHCP, file services, DNS, and uh, extracted ISO files. So uh, let me explain the extracted ISO files real quick. We would need for you to, in order to deploy the image, we need you to have the Windows 7 installation disk extracted in the in a directory. I'll show you real quick. In a directory on your hard drive or wherever you want to have it or wherever you can access it. And right here, I have mine extracted. This is extracted from the disk, so we can go ahead and, and use this to install the deployment to the to the other computer. All right. Once you have all these things done, we are ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and add a role. And here it goes. Windows Deployment Services. Go ahead and click. We're gonna pick both of these. Just keep them. Keep it as the default. Okay. Once it's finished, we're gonna press close. Now we're gonna go back to start. Administrative tools, and we're gonna go to Windows Deployment Services. All right. As you see, we have exclamation point. That means it's not configured. So we're going to right click, configure. We're going to press next. Okay, we're going to pick the path where our, inst where our remote folder is, our installation folder is, where, where my images is. So right now I have it locally. You can have it like on a, another disk or somewhere else, but I have it local right now for this tutorial. And you press next. It's going to give me an error because it recommends not to be on the same computer. But since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to have it on the same computer, and you can you can put it somewhere else if you want to, like on an external or a network share. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. We're going to click on both of these and press next. All right, we're going to pick the third option and make sure you click here. We're going to press next. And this is just so when someone you know tries to install it, they have to put their password and, and stuff into in order to do it. So we're going to press next. I'm going to unclick here. We're going to press finish. All right. Let's go ahead and minimize this. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to installation images. We're going to add image. We're going to create a group. I'm just going to call this group. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it like your business group or whatever the image is for. We're going to say this is for the IT. All right. So we're going to press next. We're going to find this, this installation file. It should be where you extracted that ISO. So we're going to go into where the ISO is. Images. We're going to head and find that file. All right, mine was in sources. So we go ahead and find the installation WIM. All right, press next. All right. Now, here we have a choice of what we want to install. Your, your disk may not have this, but mine does. So I'm going ahead and we're going to install Ultimate. 64 bit and press next. All right, we're going to press next here. All right, let's go ahead and press finish. All right, that's there. You see it there. The next thing we're going to do is go to boot images. Click here, add boot image. All right, we're going to go back to that same folder. 
and we're going to find this one. We're going to use the, the boot.wim. Okay, next. You can change the name of it if you want to, but I'm just going to use the default right now. All right, that's ready to go. Um, they have other options to do drivers. You can add drivers in into the installation, but I'm not going to do it here. But you could add any driver you want that's on your computer. If you have like you know printer drivers or any kind of driver that you need, you can easily add it. You can right click on it, you know, and you can add whatever you need to do. Okay. All right. The next thing we want to do now we want to go to the computer that doesn't have anything on the hard drive. We're going to uh, image that computer right now. So I'm gonna go over to to the other computer. That's going to receive the image. All right. When it comes up, it's going to ask you to press F12 real fast. If you don't press it fast enough, um, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to restart the computer again because I was just here to show you that if you don't press F12 fast enough, when it says press F12 for network service boot, it's not going to let you allow you to press it. So I'm going to restart it and I'll press F12 at the proper time. All right. This time I press F12 at the proper time. And as you can see, it says that it was detected, and now it's trying to contact the server. In order for to contact the server, we have to give it permission on the server. So we're going to go back to the server. All right, we're back at the server. Now we want to go ahead and go to pending devices. And there goes the computer. That, that is contacting the server. So what we're going to do is right click. I want to name and approve. So I want to name the name of the computer. So you can keep your, your name scheme going on in your network. So we go ahead and name it and approve it. And I just call my I teach geek 01 and we press OK. All right, now we're going to go back to the client machine. And as you can see, it is loading the file system now. All right, and then it should come up to here, and you would just do the installation like you would do any other installation. Just press next, and you just put the password in. So you need to put the domain name in. Remember when I told you we clicked that option earlier? So you just put the name, the domain, and the password in. So you go ahead and do it like this. Notice I have the, the name of the domain first, and then we have the, the slash right here. And I only have one user for that computer. Because it's a brand new server I just installed. And so the only account I have is administrator. So I put administrator and I put administrator's password. And you press OK. And then here it goes. Here goes the image right here that we have. Remember we picked Windows 7 64-bit. You press next. And we're going ahead to do the installation. If you have more custom images that do all the steps for you, you can use those. But I use a basic image from a Windows 7 disk. And this is a basic configuration of Windows deployment services and so many other things you can do with it. I'm Rashad from iTeachGeek. Thank you for watching my tutorial.